Ed O'Keefe. Uh, he's been on the scene there in Iowa. He arrived a, sh a short time later. Ed, you know, we were talking about uh, you were actually there covering politics. And often when we have a major incident like this, the political conversation shifts, at least for a period of time, to the concern uh, here, which is possibly, you know, gun violence in schools and safety. Uh, and who knows, maybe that'll happen once you head back into your political um, area. But in the meantime, I know that you've got a bit of an update uh, in regards to this situation. What can you tell us? The county sheriff, Emory, a little while ago came to tell the gathered reporters that the, the incident, at least, is over for now. There is no danger to this community of about 8,000 people, uh, which is about 40 miles north northwest of Des Moines. Uh, and that at this point, they cannot yet tell us the exact number of people wounded or potentially killed. We have heard various uh, numbers bandied about, but we're not going to report any until the authorities tell us. And the fact that they're holding off suggests that this remains a pretty fluid situation. Part of the reason why the sheriff is probably holding off. We witnessed ourselves a little while ago in that a student who lives two blocks from the school had gone home having been in the lunchroom when the incident happened this morning. That's what he told me at least. Was then compelled to come back towards the school because he was grazed with something on his back and was bleeding. And so he was seeking police or EMT assistance and he and his brother are students at the school, and they tell us that it was a student who was the shooter. We did not get the name. We don't know what year. Uh, but it shows you how uh, sort of quick this was and how quickly people fled the scene, that this one student felt compelled to go home mm -hmm. and then walked back mm -hmm. to seek medical assistance. Uh, he's fine, uh, based on my conversation with his stepmother, uh, physically and was being treated for what is mostly a superficial wound, but it hit his left lower back. Um, and I think when he got home, he realized he probably needed somebody else to check it out. Uh, and again, he lives only two blocks from the school. So given that this kid left and is walking back, that changes the number potentially. So that may be why they're holding off. Uh, this was the first day back at school for this high school, which is connected to the local middle school and near the elementary school. Those two have been cleared. Reunifications are continuing a little ways away from here. Uh, we saw cars speeding up with parents trying to go find their kids and police officers directing them on where exactly to go. It's a scene all too common across the country uh, and one that local authorities as well as those across the country have, have trained for and, and are prepared for. And we saw dozens if not hundreds of police Sheriff, state police all rushed to this town again of about 8,000 people. The high school has about 1,800 students, and the sheriff says that they will have more to tell us later today after 1 p.m. Eastern, after noon Central Time. Uh, but it was clear from what he was telling us that uh, they have a lot more to sort out before they can say more, in part because they want to be able to inform families. Uh, but they do know who the shooter is. He would not say what that person's uh, condition is and otherwise was asking for patience. Ed, uh, before we let you go, and I don't know, maybe you said this, but um, any uh, word on, uh, any word from the White House? Yes, so while obviously we've seen FBI and ATF response here, which is typical in these kinds of situations, especially at a venue like this, we now know the Attorney General and the President both have been briefed on the situation, as they often are after uh, a situation such as this one. Uh, whether we learn more from the White House later remains to be seen. I know there's a briefing scheduled later this morning, but uh, typically now when these kinds of mass shootings happen, he gets informed pretty quickly. And it appears in this case, according to our White House team back in D.C., that that is the case. All right, Ed O'Keefe on the scene for us uh, in Perry, Iowa. Ed, as always, my friend, thank you very much for jumping in at the very last minute. Uh, we appreciate it.